guys welcome back to the shop so I'm getting ready to start back on this parking attachment and I believe I'm ready to get this thing welded together so we'll go ahead and get it welded and then after that after it's cooled and everything our last op for this will be to line up the holes there and bore it for a three-quarter pin uh, there is one more op that I got to do there's there's another drill hole that'll be like at the bottom of the tube here because whenever this is slid down over the over the shaft here you drive a roll pin through there this supposed to, the pin supposed to be stationary in this it actually rotates in the housing of the the mill over there the pin does so uh, from what I remember that's going to be the last two ops on this piece here after it's all welded up so what I'd like to do is the uh, the welds around this you know, I've got, I've got it beat out, and I think I'm going to go ahead and TIG weld those. And on this inside right here, I've, I've been kind of going back and forth on what I should do right there. I mean, it's just a fillet weld, really. But um, I thought about maybe putting some kind of gusset in there, but I really I, I don't think it's necessary. I was just kind of thinking about maybe copying the original design a little bit. The uh, original casting has a large radius right there kind of give it a nice um, nice support but I'm thinking about laying some 7018 down in here you know my uh, stick rod over here and uh, lay a few passes in there and, and kind of build it up and, and make that kind of heavy on that side but these other three I'd like to uh, just TIG weld them nice and hot get us a nice deep penetration there with the TIG welder and then uh, just dress them kind of smooth so that's my game plan uh, this side, I'm probably going to go ahead and do a little bit of preheat. I had a lot of guys asking me about this side, like, hey, why didn't you, why didn't you preheat that? So we're going to go ahead. I'll get the torch over here, and we're just going to kind of warm it up and uh, get it kind of hot, and then I'll go ahead and proceed to get it tacked. I've got my pipe clamp over here again, and I'm going to use this to get this thing pulled square and get it tacked off really good, and then we'll uh, proceed to finish getting it welded in. And I also believe I'm going to use the uh, the factory arm. Let me grab that. I forgot it. One sec. There's the uh, factory little swing arm deal. And what's really cool is that this thing fits in there like precision. See that? I mean, it, it fits in there great. I don't know if I'm going to be able to maintain that kind of uh, fit right there after this thing's welded. But it would be nice if I could. But, I mean, it's just like dead on it. So... I may stick that in there and uh, put a clamp there to kind of hold that while I do the welding. And there will be another weld bead up on the inside of here also, real, real light weld bead. So let's get going, okay? Suck some of that heat out of it.
removed the clamp, got the block tacked on to the main body here. I didn't tack the top piece yet. I need to move the clamp up here and make sure that this arm, this uh, this ear, is pulled back good. Still fitting in there. that it drew just a little bit. Still good though. I need to try to get some weld up inside here a little bit or some tacks. So let me get her uh, clamped up, I'll bring it back. Uh, I've got a V down inside here and after that first segment I went ahead and took this back apart and machined a weld prep on both pieces of that because I had forgotten to do that. So I do have a V in there, but for now I'm just going to tack it and then start going around and welding it up. Probably uh, heat it up again before we start welding it solid.
go ahead and lay a fillet weld on this side right here with the TIG. Some nice hot welding right there. some uh, 7018s up through here, okay? On that one side, you gotta be on reverse polarity to get your optimal welding. That's what you normally weld it on anyway, is reverse polarity for 7018. short one right here on the front side of this.
All right, guys, I think that's, I think I got her welded pretty good. I think I got it where I, where I want it anyway. And pretty nice bead right in there, a lot of weld, and I've got it welded all the way around. Let's see. <laughs> yeah, the arm fits back in there like it's supposed to. So, I'm going to let it sit just like this and uh, just let it cool down naturally. And when I do, I'm going to come back and I'm going to do some cleaning, some uh, wire brushing and dressing with, with the, um, like a flap disc just to kind of smooth everything out. And I think we'll be through with all the uh, welding. So it's been about three hours since I welded it. And it's cool. It's still a little warm. But, you know, you can hold your hand on it. So I'm going to go ahead and start with a wire wheel and do a little bit of cleaning on it. And then I'm going to switch to uh, a flat disc to kind of dress some of the welds down a little bit, smooth them out some. And then after that, we'll switch to this uh, Norton Rapid Strip to kind of polish and blend it all together. That's my plan anyway. here I'm just gonna I'm not gonna try to remove all the weld I'm just gonna try to smooth it out some
Well, I think I got it about how I want it. Everything softened up and blended and polished. The only thing I haven't got is up inside here. I don't really have anything handy. I need a big, I need one of these except, you know, bigger where I could go in there and clean that, but I don't have any bigger than that right there. So I might have to just kind of hit that by hand with some Scotch Bright. Yeah, I think it's turning out pretty good, guys. I'm I'm pretty well happy with it. Yeah, just get in here and do a little bit of. I'm getting in with my red Scotch Bright and just kind of rub that out a little bit. I really like the metal look, the uh, polished metal. But uh. I haven't decided yet on the finish that, that, that I'm going to do. I just, I don't know yet. Probably going to end up painting it, but I haven't decided uh, exactly what I'm going to do yet. So let's, uh, I'm going to take it back down there to the, to the table and uh, we're going to, we're going to look at it one more time side by side with the other one. And we'll put the, uh, the new little uh, rotating arm that John made on here. Oh, well, there she is together. And I'm not going to have to do any fine tuning of the, the little rotating arm right here because it fits in there just like it's supposed to. I can tell that it's got a few thousandths clearance. That'll work just fine. Everything's lined up like it's supposed to. Alright, well, as I said before, we got to do this hole, we got to drill this hole so we know those are two things we got to do. And uh, while I got you here, let me go ahead and uh, we'll point you and I'll give you an update on the other parts that we got to make. So that's going to be this pin here. We got to make that pin. We got to make this pin. This is the three quarter pin that's going to go uh, right here. It's going to go down through there and, and then we got this one that we got to make also, the threaded pin with the hex on it. That one's going to go right there. I'm sorry. So we'll see you on the next video.